Thank you. And do the number of people, you certainly if you've got five minutes, but if you would not be repetitive, you'll offer opportunity for other people to offer up some new ideas. Thank you. Go ahead. Hello, my name is uh, Devin Brandelick. I was born and raised in, uh, here in the brothels. Um, my mother's side of the family, uh, five generations ago, fought and died for uh, Texas. Uh, my fifth great grandfather offered his life at the Goliad Massacre, and so my blood is soaked into the land of the state of Texas, and I feel like I should have a say, especially um, in regards to what goes on here in the city of New Braunfels. Whatever your opinions are, whatever um, your political views are, we should be weary of uh, how we treat children. We should be weary on the way that we treat our children because they are the future of America. And so I would like to read St. Paul's epistle to the Ephesians. Brethren, be imitators of God as dear children and walk in love as Christ also loved us and delivered himself up as an offering and sacrifice to God to ascend in fragrant odor. But immorality and every uncleanness or covetousness, let us not even be named among you as become saints or obscenity, foolish talk or scurrility, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. For know this and understand that no fornicator or unclean person or covetous one, for that is idolatry, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one among you lead you astray with empty <laughs> words. For because these things, the wrath of God, comes upon the children of disobedience, do not then become partakers with them. For you were once darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Walk then as children of the light. For the fruit of the light is in all goodness, justice, and truth. I can say one thing that... Um, if there's anything in my life that has particularly destroyed it, it has been, um, and uh, I'm willing to say this in public, um, it is because of pornography and it is because of immorality. From a very young age, I was introduced to pornography. And you see those people laughing. It is because of immorality that children are led astray so easily. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, if anyone scandalized one of these children, it's better that a millstone be wrapped around his neck and sunk to the bottom of the sea. That's our Lord. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, I have come not to bring peace, but a sword. Children are special. And the way children fall so easily is by grooming behavior. These people need those books in this library. They need the curriculum in the schools. They need these things to happen, these supposed resources, because it is the only way they can take children from God. The left, the world has always been at war with God. Our intellect, our conscience, we know that God gave us the highest faculty that he shares. That is our intellect, the rational function of our mind. We know something is wrong with this. We know that there is something gravely wrong with this, but we cannot put our hand on it. And so because of that, many people experience cognitive dissonance. They say, oh, no, it's fine. And they continue down the rabbit hole. First, it was bake the cake. No, actually, first it was, oh, we just want to get married, then bake the cake. Then, if you don't allow us to teach these things in schools, we'll fire you from your jobs. We'll blacklist you. <coughs> well, my dear friends, I'm here to remind you that you have a conscience. And before you go to bed tonight, remember, we all meet the same end. We all will die one day. And I ask you this very minute to repent of the things that you have done, whether it is by omission or by consent. Lastly, I want to say one thing, that in Mexico, the government banned Catholic masses. They banned priests from wearing their cassocks. They executed priests in their church. This is called the Cristero War. And when this government waged war against the Mexican Catholics, it was the Mexican Catholics that took back the freedom of Mexico. 
that Christ the King can reign once again. But we cannot be free unless we have Jesus Christ our Lord. And we must... Forgive me. We must seek purity. So my dear friends, Viva Cristo Rey. Christ is King. And we must love with a godly love.